Hi guys, I'm Chris with M7 Metalworks. Gonna start a project today. I bought this Kubota about a month-ish ago. And um, you know, the, the Kubota makes great equipment, but this grill design just invites a uh, uh, brush, log, stick, to just punch a hole right through the radiator. I got a set of forks on it right now. And so if I'm pushing a pile of brush, you know, I gotta be, really be careful right now. So, um, I've got some steel from the scrapyard, got it for a song, and, uh, and I'll show it to you here in just a minute. It's already pretty much got most of the work done because I, I, I bought something that's kind of got a grid pattern, and I'll show you here in a sec. But I'm gonna try to bolt this um, extra grill into the current grill that I've got. So basically a, a, a bolt coming through the side here, up top and down low, and then same on the other side, and have just a little space above and a little space above. I actually got just a little bit of a um, kind of a cardboard template. And so I've got a piece of steel that's just about that right size. It'll be just a little shorter on the side, so I'll have to uh, figure something out there. But anyway, it's gonna do something like that, and then I'm not sure how I'll do the, the bottom yet. Um, to give this some protection in here. It might be a deal where I bring a, a piece of steel up from the bottom. So anyways, uh, let's get cracking. Let me show you what I got from the scrapyard first. Okay, so this is what I got at the local scrapyard. <clears throat> probably paid 15, actually I probably paid less than that. I probably paid 10 bucks for this because I got some other stuff and I think the whole thing was $18. Got some copper, I got some aluminum, and I got this steel. So this is my cardboard template. And so what I'm gonna end up doing, so that I have some consistency on the look, I'm going to, I've, I've already cut it, but essentially I'm gonna cut it short and then put some bolts. I don't know if I'll weld something on here, but anyways, let me just show you. So that's my template. So we're gonna pull that out. Separate that, and there's my template right here, and there's my piece of steel. So it's almost perfect from top to bottom, but from side to side, I'm a little bit short. But rather than have just a little bit of steel sticking out um, on the sides, I, I really didn't want that. So what I'll do is I'll weld something on the sides here, and some type of an extension, and then I'll be able to um, run the bolts right through the frame of that um, grill guard and right into this. And then of course I'll paint all this up once I've uh, done all that. So anyway, it should be a pretty easy, simple project. Just need to figure out how I want to do the bolts here. So um, yeah, gonna be fun. Stay with me guys, might help you with your tractor.
lower portion now cut out. So what I'll end up doing here is heating this up on both sides and bending that in and then putting a weld there. I've got some extra stuff that I've cut off on the sides that I'll end up welding on the sides here. I'll most likely cut these flush. So you'll still see where it was, but you won't see it won't be sticking out like that. So uh, I'll do a quick fit up on the tractor just so you can kind of get a visual, an idea of what I'm going for. Hey, good morning guys, uh, we're back. It's a Tuesday morning, beautiful sunshiny day. We're gonna finish up this grill guard. So it was painted yesterday and it's had a little bit of time to dry. It'll still be a little bit soft, uh, but that's okay. It's a tractor, I'm not concerned about a little bit of scratching here and there. So this thing comes in two pieces. So I'll, I'll bolt the um, lower section onto here. And I did take the time um, last night when I painted these um, grill guards I did take the time to just run a little bit of paint around into these um, bolt holes that I had drilled. And that's just to provide a little bit of um, protection against rust. Um, obviously, um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it seals that up just a little bit. So, um, just wanted you guys to know about that. The upper guard, of course, bolts into the sides here. Everything bolts on and off. So, that's the beauty of this versus what a lot of guys do is take the expanded metal and they just they just welded on there this took a little bit more thought a little bit more effort obviously quite a bit of welding um, welding the zinc is terrible if you can get something that doesn't it doesn't have any um, galvanized metal in it that would be the way to go because it's just miserable trying to weld on that galvanized metal I had to grind a ton of that zinc off of there and um, just it's just a pain and then even then it doesn't weld very well so um, you know if you can avoid the galvanized metal I would definitely do that um, you don't really need it nothing else on this is galvanized so um, not necessary but anyways so we're gonna bolt that on and I'm gonna put you in um, I'm gonna speed this video up so that it's not too boring and then we'll take a look at the final product
Well guys, we got her bolted up. <clears throat> you can see. So I did throw a little paint obviously on those bolts and the washers. Though, you know, the stock bolts don't even have paint, but whatever. It was uh, really more a matter of doing it so that they would be protected. My bolts weren't um, galvanized or anything like that, so a little more likely of them getting rusty. And... So you can see the, the actual, the way this bolts up, there are two very different um, means of attaching them. The, obviously the, let me just get down here. So the lower part of this grill bolts on here and here. And, and you know, obviously I had to use a pretty p thick piece of steel um, going up there because that supports that entire lower part of the grill. Um, guard so you want it pretty stout so that if a branch or something does hit that um, What I was concerned with is Because I was attaching them very differently that the plane that they rode in would be vastly different I thought this one would stick out quite a bit more, but as you can see It really doesn't it does a pretty good job and I'll show you the back side of it here Now I'll show you opening it up and opening the hood, how it looks there. So the way that works is you got to be able to move this upper portion separately from the lower portion. So that lower portion is bolted on and then the upper portion is bolted on and the bolts actually come through. You know, if you wanted to put a nut on the inside of these to kind of lock them in, you could do that. I'm not concerned about it. Um, obviously, I'll be able to see if I get any uh, backing out. Plus, I put in lock washers. You could use Loctite, whatever you wanted to do to keep those from wanting to vibrate or drift out. I don't think it'll be an issue. And then, obviously, the hood opens, and you can see plenty of clearance here. That's important, because if you make that the wrong way, you're not going to have any clearance there. So, anyway, it works real good. Plus, it adds a little weight to that front grill, so that's kind of nice. So, anyway, guys. Hope you liked the video. Hope it's something that will help you out. I'm Chris with M7 Metalworks. We'll see you, God willing, on the next video.